हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट बॉडीज और वी कैन से द ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस व्हिच लीड्स दिस स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन नो फॉर ओवरऑल हायर इकॉनमी द एफिशिएंसी एंड द प्रोडक्टिविटी दीज आर द थ्री फैक्टर for which every industry strives so economy the efficiency and the productivity so for this in in a factory or a country it is essential that the diversity should be minimized and the interchangeability among parts are encouraged and all this is possible with standardization so what is the standardization standardizing the various parts the processes the products so that there will be a hassle free assembly and a timely delivery the problem solving and the full proof methods for this purpose we go for the standardization now at what level we can do this standardization it can be done at international level it can be done at national there are some association and some company level or the industry level so at different level we can do this now realizing the role of standardization in the development of industry organization to handle the complexities of standardization have been evolved in each of the chief industrial countries if you take the example of our country in india there is a bis bureau of indian standards which is responsible for evolving all the standards on the metrological instrument so this bis bureau of indian standards there are many or we can say the several section or sectional committees which deal with various branches okay of the industry in the bis the detailed work of drawing up specification it is done by more specialized technical committees who prepare a draft which is standard and based on a practice in other countries and as per the need of our country and then it circulate that draft to the relevant industries the government and the survey departments sometimes they also share that with some research and the teaching organization like iits nits and others likely to be interested then the comments are invited both from producer and the user in order to consider all the aspects the meetings are held in order to help and to discuss the matter in depth and the final standards issued so the technical committee is also keep on revising the existing standards from time to time so all this work is done by the bis bureau of industrial standards so here we will see the main function of this bis the first is formulation publication and then promotion of indian standards second one is inspection of articles or processes under certification scheme third the establishment maintenance and the recognition of laboratories the fourth one is to formulate to implement and then coordinate activities relating to quality maintenance and then improvement in product as well as the processes and the last one is to promote the harmonious development in standardization in quality system and in certification also promote the matters which are connected there with both within the country and at international level so these are some function of the bis then provide some information documentation and other services to consumers and to recognize the consumer organization on such terms and conditions as may be mutually agreed upon after that formulate publicate and promote the indian standards that we have seen earlier is the first point then give the recognition to quality assurance system in the manufacturing as well as in processing unit on such terms and conditions which are mutually agreed upon then bring out some handbooks guides and some other special publication which will be useful for the industry and for conformity to any other standards if authorized 
Thus, the main function of the Bureau of Indian Standard can be grouped under the standards formulation, certification marking, and then laboratory testing, also the promotional and some international activities. So, this BIS has under the Mechanical Engineering Division Council EDC a separate engineering metrology sectional committee. This committee was set up in 1958 and the main task of this committee is to formulate some standards for various aspects of dimensional metrological measuring instrument and the accessories which is used in the mechanical engineering field. A large number of Indian standards in field of engineering metrology have been formulated. Now we will see the international organization of weight and measure. This body look after all the international formulation of standards and this was established in 1975 under the international meter Conver convention in the Paris. The objective is to maintain the uniformity of measurement throughout the world. So there are three main bodies of this organization. The first one is the general conference of weights and measures. The second one is the international committee of weights and measures and then third one is the international organization of legal metrology. Now we will see what is the general conference of weights and measures. The objective of these are to draw off and then promote the decisions which are necessary for the propagation and perfection of an international system of units and then standards of the measurement. Then the second objective is to approve the results of new fundamental metrological determination and the various scientific resolutions in the field of metrology which are of international interest. Then the next is International Committee of Weight and Measure, the same one. The earlier it was the conference and then it is the committee. The role of this committee is to direct and supervise some work. Before that, we will see what, what is the authority of this committee. So, this committee works under the authority of General Conference of Weights and Measures, General Conference of Weights and Measures and it is responsible for promoting the decision which is taken by letter. The objective, main objectives are to direct and supervise the work of International Bureau of Weights and Measures, to establish the correlation among national laboratories of metrology for executing the metrological work which the general conference of weights and measures decides in order to execute jointly by the member state of the organization. Then to direct such work and coordinate the results and to look after the conservation of international standards. Then the last one is OIML that is International Organization of Legal Metrology. So it was established in 1955 under International Convention of Legal Metrology Paris to 1956 unify the metrological practices. Their objectives are to determine the general principle of legal metrology. This legal metrology is concerned with the statutory technique and the legal requirement of units of measurements, the methods of measurement and the measuring instrument with a view to assure the public guarantee in respect of this security and then appropriate accuracy of measuring instrument or the measurement. Then the second objective is to study with the object of unification, statutory and then the regulatory problems of legal metrology. Last one is to establish the draft of a model law and a regulation on measuring instrument and then their uses. So that's it. So we'll stop here. Thank you.